welcome back. Right, so this evening is arm day. Absolutely love it. Not the warmest day in the world, but the sun has been out in the UK, so it's all good. May well get this hoodie off. We shall see, we shall see. So what are we doing? Let's go through some exercises with you. So what we're gonna to start to do is, we're gonna start with barbell. So we're gonna do, as always, agonistic, antagonistic, opposites. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna work on super EZ bar there. So I've just got that set up with about 35 kg. And we're also gonna use the barbell here as well. Okay, so we're gonna do close grip bench press to hit those triceps. And as I said, we're gonna work those in with some easy or super EZ bar curls. Now we're gonna go through the three grips here. So we're gonna go wide grip, we're gonna go standard shoulder width, then we're gonna go inside for the peaks. Once we've done that, we're then gonna move on to rope, or in this case, yeah, I suppose, let's call it straps. So that's gonna be tricep extension, and we're also gonna do some hammer curls as well. Then I'm gonna finish off this evening with some weighted dips. So we've already got the power station set up. We're gonna go heavy. So I don't wanna leave a lot on the table when it comes to biceps, but I wanna leave just a little bit for those weighted dips because I wanna smash the living daylights out of here. But that's enough talking from me. Let's get arms underway. We're gonna start with some EZ bar curls. Okay, so we're just gonna start off with some wide bicep curls. I'm going to be doing three grips here. So it's going to be wide on this super easy bar. It's then going to be coming in at shoulder width. Then we're going to be going inside, so close grip for the peaks. So we're going to work in three sets of 10. Once I've done those three sets of 10, we're then going to move on to some close grip barbell. At the end of this session, final exercise is going to be weighted dips. So I'm still gonna work hard on the straps, but I wanna leave it a little bit in the tank so I'm gonna absolutely smash the granny out of those dips. Right, so just going to give it 15 20 seconds, then we're going to move into those standard curls. Yeah, so now we're bringing it inside, we're going to those standard curls, so it's just inside shoulder width, as you can see. Try to keep the elbows nice and tucked in. Final set before we go on to close grip is going to be close grip EZ bar. And again, these will really work the peaks. So, for anyone that watched my last video, you'll know that I've been bulking now since the beginning of January. So, we're coming up for a good, what, about 10 weeks? I've had enough. <laughs> had enough. So, I've been at 90 kg, which is the heaviest. I've ever been in my life. I've been 90 kg, around 90 kg now for, I want to say, probably about three or four weeks. So, still feeling, yeah, it's a bit too much timber at the side. I want to start to see a little bit of the six pack coming back. I want to start to see some tri, so I tri, I can't even say it, tri-rations, whatever you know, definition, <laughs> yeah. So we're on the cut. So this is day number one and I have to admit, swear to God, oh my God. I haven't done a bulk in a cut for a while. From the more, from this morning, when I got up, and instead of having 
massive bowl of porridge, like toast, peanut butter the works. I literally got up and I had a blinking massive glass of water, a bit of toast. By about 10 o'clock, I was hangry. <laughs> I was literally wanting to kill people. But yeah, it's been a difficult one. All I'm trying to do is usually where I pack in a decent lunch, then I have a whopping great dinner. I'll have a half decent dinner this evening, try to keep the carbs down, proteins and everything high, including fats. But, oh my God, geez, I am absolutely hungry. But what I tried to do was I literally went to supermarket and I just bought some dried fruit because that's worked really well for me before. So kind of things like raisins and kind of like the mixed, mixed nuts and fruit, things like that. So I know it's quite high in sugar and whatever else and uh, fructose, etc., etc. But I find those, when I start to feel a little bit hungry, handful of that, those kind of mixed raisins and nuts, that type of thing, and it does me, it kind of switches off and I go off. So that's all I'm doing. I'm literally just using that mixed fruit to try to take away that hunger that I feel at the moment. And so far today, it's working. I'm getting to dinner time in probably about an hour. When I finish my session and I'm absolutely starving. So while I've been bulking, I've been on or around like 28, 2900 calories. Going into a cut now, I'm looking more like 2,100 calories. 2,122. Two, two. So it's a drop of about 600 calories. So almost a full meal, or if you know what I mean, a, a large snack. And that's really what I'm missing already today. So I'm hoping over the next three, four weeks to drop from about 90 kg. I'm going to try to get down to about 85. Oh, so a drop of about five kilos. We'll then see how we're like at 85. If I still think I've got some more in me, then we'll drop down. But really, we want to make sure I'm not dropping anywhere below 83 kilos. I think with some of the, hopefully the muscle that's underneath some of this water and bulk and fat, hopefully is a decent physique just waiting to rip out. But we shall soon find out. But yeah, I'll go down to 85, have a look at what I look like at 85, make the decision where it's just go strength, strength, strength at 85. But, yeah, maybe I'll see me go down to 83. So we're on 90 kg at the moment as we speak. As I said, really trying to get down to that 85 would be ideal. 83, we'll see. Right, let's get on to some close grip bench for the tries. Okay, so we've just done the first three sets on that Super EZ bar. Now we're gonna move on to close grip. So all I'm doing here on close grip, I do take a suicide grip. In case that's thumb over bar, please don't do it unless you're comfortable doing it. I just prefer suicide grip when I'm doing this exercise. All I'm doing is putting both hands together and then literally all I do is I step out one fist width and that's my close grip. Okay, so I go into the middle, step out and that's where we're gonna go. So I've got 60 kg on the bar. Oh. Nice, good. Right, so next set, we're gonna go up. So next set of close grip, we're gonna go up to 70 kg. So we're just sticking those five kilo, techno gym on each side. So we go up to 70 kg on the next one. But before we do the next one, we're gonna smash through another three sets of EZ bar. So what I'm doing here is just working on three sets of bicep to one set of bench. 
So it just gives me a little bit of time just to move on to those triceps and a little bit more rest in between. As I said, working on the tries, I really want to give myself some in the tank for those weighted dips at the end. Because it's been a while since I've done some weighted dips. Oh. So I'm just trying to keep the elbows nice and tucked in. Oh. Trying to limit any swing as much as I can. So again, we're going to give it a couple of minutes, a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds, then we'll move on to the next set. Okay, so where we're going wide, we're now going to come inside. Okay, so I'm working that meaty part of the bicep. Okay, right, so we're just inside shoulder width, as you can see now. Myself another 20 to 30 seconds then we're going to go close grip here so we're going to work these bad boy peaks that's what everyone always wants yeah all good having the size of arm but you want the peaks okay all right okay let's do this okay Nice. Right. Boom. We are back to close brick bench. This time 70 kg, let's go. Right, so back into close grip. This time we've gone from 60 to 70 kg. And make sure I'm just nice and set on the bench. Okay. So as I said, just bring the Fingers in, and then step one out. That's gonna be the distance that we're close gripping. Days. 
smashing those triceps. Absolutely love a bit of close grip bench. Right, let's get back to biceps. Okay, right, here we go. So going through these three grips again, so we're going wide as we possibly can on this super easy bar to begin with. Oh. So we'll give it another 15, 20 seconds. And then instead of going wide grip, we're gonna bring it inside the shoulder width and then straight inside for the peaks. Okay. All right, so give myself another 10 seconds. Just give me enough time to get one of these down me. Okay, let's go. So we've got two more sets of bicep before I go on to my third and final set on close grip, barbell bench press, then we can do some hammer curls and some tricep extension. Final set with these EZ bars now. And we're gonna go close grip. My forearms already on fire, which is all good. So this time we're gonna go inside, yeah? So we're gonna be working the peaks. Give myself another 10 seconds. Finish off what should have been a pre-workout, silly boy. Okay. Let's go, final set. Far from the final set this evening. Okay, let's go. Jeez, trying to give you some angles here, people. burning like an absolute mofo but it blows the biceps wide open okay right final set of close grip let's get these done and I'll strip down the EZ bar and then we'll do some hammer curls and some tricep extensions using the strap and that pull down right don't go anywhere this could get tasty Let's do this. Okay, peeps, final set of close grip bench, 70 kg. We're gonna go for 10 again on this. And then that's EZ bar, bicep curls done. 
the nine sets all in all, three threes on the grips, and then three sets of this close. After I've done this, we're gonna step into standing hammer curls and tricep extension with strap. Then after those are done, then we finish off with weighted dips. So let's get these done first, shall we? Days. Right, now we knock these down. Now it's time to go hammer curls with bar, with dumbbells and some tricep extension. Smash it. Okay peeps, right, so we're moving off EZ bar. We're moving off barbell now. And we're going for tricep extensions with strap, long strap on the lateral pull down for, strangely enough, triceps. Then we're gonna work in Brachialis. We're going to blow up the arm just with some hammer curls. So it's going to be alternate hammer curls to begin with. Again, trying to limit the swing as much as I can. If I swing, there's still gains there. So if anyone wants to put any comments about it's too much swing, etc., etc., feel free. If that makes you feel happy, do it. as many angles as possible. tricep. Okay, so again, going bicep, tricep, bicep, tricep. Now onto the strap for the first set. Great thing about using this strap is you can really move between a rope position and a straight bar position as well. What I'm doing on this first set is taking a rope position, as you can see. I can easily move that to a straight bar position as well if I want. Just making sure. Nice. Good. Right. Let's move back to those bad boy hammer curls, shall we? So we're going back onto hammer curls. This time going up a little bit from 20s to 22 and a half. Again, trying to limit the swing. Oh. Oh. Trying to keep those elbows tucked in. Chest proud. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Just done those hammers, now back on. 
I'm gonna take a slightly less rope extension grip on here. I'm gonna turn the palms over. So it's mimicking that straight bar tricep. Main reason for that is, after this tricep exercise, I'm gonna be moving on to dips. And I don't wanna do anything that mimics a perfect dip. Which, to be honest with you, is a rope position with palms facing each other, if you think about it. So I'm just gonna go as much as I can with these straps. I could use a straight bar, but I do like this because it allows you really to get that separation and tricep extension at the bottom using this strap. Nice. Good. Right, that's those bad boy hammer curls. Just one more set of hammer curls, one more set of those triceps, then we're waiting to dip and out of it. Okay, right, so final set of hammer curls. Oh. Then final set of triceps, and I'll take a couple of minutes rest while I set up the power station for the weighted dips. So I think with those dips, weighted dips, I'm going to go up in 10 kilo increments, so I'll go dips for 10, 20, 30, 40, see how I get on. I'm actually more scared of what that kind of bloody household, not corporate, not commercial bit of power station, dip station can take. Because I used to have a heavy duty dip station which used to take my body weight, plus about 80 kg. But oh, I'm doubting my power station oh, can take that. Because if I show you, as I said, my power station before was a commercial bit of kit. Now, this is what we're playing with. <laughs> Sometimes I worry it will take my bloody 80, 89 kilo body weight. Right, let's get this final set of triceps done. Then we're on to those very said weighted dips. Although I'm thinking to myself, now actually, instead of taking a couple of minutes rest, I might do some reverse curls just with the barbell over there. Just to finish off forearms and biceps before I go into those weighted dips. See how I get on. Right. Let's put that back. Let's grab this barbell. Let's do exactly what I just said. So I'm just gonna do some reverse curls. So instead of hand under, or palm under bar as usual, we're gonna be going hand over bar. So again, reverse curls. This one's cracking. Absolutely cracking for biceps, but smash the living daylights out of your forearms as well. Oh. Oh, name of the game here again is just trying to keep those elbows tucked in. Oh. Oh. Not an exercise to do if you've got tendonitis. Enough's enough. Let's get set up for some weighted dips. Okay. 
peep. So we now go on to some weighted dips. So I've got a weight belt here, as you'll be able to see when I start dipping. Nothing on it right now. So all we're gonna do is we're literally gonna go body weight. So I'm 89, pretty much 90 kilos. So we're gonna add on 10 kilos to begin with. And we're aiming for 10 repetitions on each one of these weights. So this will be 90 kg body weight plus 10 kilos. That, I think, as they say, was candy and something to do with a baby. Right, so, gonna give it about 30 seconds rest. And then what we're gonna do is, where we've got 10 kilos on that at the moment, we're gonna add the other 10. So now we're gonna go body weight plus 20 kilos. Let's get you guys set up. Can't be asked with the edit, I'm sorry. So you're just gonna have to put up with that. Right, let's get all sorted. Okay, right, so just getting this sorted. You'll be able to see it in a second. But now we're going. Body weight plus 20. Okay, so you've got now two tens on here. And again, we're going for 10 repetitions. Two more. One more. Nice. Good. So that was about 89, 90 kg body weight. Boom. Plus 20 kg. Now we're going to go and raise the 20 kg. And we're going to stick another 10 on. So there's a 10 over in the corner there. So we'll get that on. And last set of this evening, body weight plus 30 kg. Then that's arms done. Easy. Easter weekend arm session. Done like that. But all good in the hood. Right, peeps. Final set of this evening. Body weight, so 89, 90 kg plus 30 kg. Weight your dips. If you go for 10 repetitions on this bad boy, then that's it, job done. For another bicep and tricep session. And all done, less than an hour, which is all good, right. Now I'm hoping more than anything else, to be honest with you people, that this dip station is decent enough to hold my body weight plus 30, to be honest. Because usually I only do body weight dips on this thing. I've only done weighted dips a couple of times on it. Do I trust it? Do I hell? But there we go, it's only 10, let's get them done quickly. You'll probably hear it creaking. If it collapses, that's gotta be viral, isn't it? It's got to be a viral video. Right, so we've got, let's get these up. 30 kg, so that's three tens. Let's go. I'm trying to lean back as much as I possibly can, so I'm not really working a lot of chest. I'm trying to put more onto the triceps here. Let's go. Right, we've got two more. One more. Ah. 
Right, that is going to be my final set. However, next time, I think I'm going to start on 30 kg and work my way up because my triceps are so much stronger than I believe they are. Because I reckon, except for worrying that power station was going to collapse, as you saw, that was freaking easy. That was an easy 10 reps on, 20, on body weight plus 30. So I think next time I'm going to start on body weight plus 30. Then we're going to go to 50. <laughs> and we'll see how the machine gets on going to 50 on the next one. That was good. Starting to get back into a few exercises that used to be in my absolute love. So as you probably saw, if you saw my video the other day on back with a sprinkle of chest, brought back the incline barbell press and smashed out some decent, decent sets on 100 kg. So I'm gonna work up to my 135 PB and see if we can smash around that. Can you imagine three plates on incline? That'd be amazing, I love that. So see if I can get there. Yeah, I've still got to get back onto flat bench. That 160 kg is still eluding me. I need to do that because I've hit some really decent shoulder PBs this year, like military press, pressing stronger than ever before with dumbbells. Deadlift is back up 200 plus, which is good. I just saw my dips are coming back. My flat bench, that used to be my bread and butter. That's why I've got to like 35, 40,000 people on TikTok is my bench. Barry, that's all he does. But yeah, I've got to get my bench back because I believe at the moment I'll probably be lucky to squeeze out 140 on bench, which is crap doing that freaking decade ago or something. So I've got to go back into frequency on bench, I've got to start smashing the bench, but I've also got to start working my triceps a lot more as well. So it was a decent session this evening, but I could almost do with just a session, like half hour, 45 minutes, just isolating triceps, just smashing triceps, because when it comes to bench, strong back's important for stability. When it comes to bench, digging those lats in, but, your triceps get you out of trouble. Your triceps are like that last half to fall and squeeze and push out. And your front delts come into it as well. So there's a little things that I'm missing on bench and I think that's the reason why I'm not quite there. I think my chest has probably still got it, but where my triceps used to get me out of trouble, I've got to get my triceps a lot stronger. And doing things like that, weighted dip that I've done today is certainly, certainly gonna help. So that's all good. Brilliant, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. So I just got waffling on there, that was, Literally, everything flooded out of my brain there and onto YouTube, which is all good. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. That this evening was biceps and triceps. I think, what am I doing tomorrow? So just check in. So back, the other day, arms. So I've got some shoulders to do. Or actually, to be honest with you, I really need to do some legs and cardio. Especially, oh, I can't remember if I have told you in the video or not, but I'm cutting. So I've been at 90 kilos for a while now. I'm putting on far too much timber not enjoying it at all. And from my point of view, with the creatine, I've stopped taking creatine and everything as well. I wanna get rid of any kind of like water retention I've got within my body and I wanna shred. So I'm gonna go from 90, cut it down to 85, see what I look like at 85 kilo, and then potentially go down to about 83. And I think I look good on 83. It's a real nice trisation and really nice definition I get at 83. So yeah, look out for that. So this is cut day number one, and I have to admit, I'm freaking starving. I've got a roast dinner tomorrow as well, family roast dinner, so I'm gonna to have to have bugger all in the morning, absolutely dine out on the roast dinner, and then see what I've got left in the evening. But at the moment, cutting, I'm going down from about 2.8, down just to over 2,000. About, well, gradual, so I'm about 2.3, but then I'd hope to get down to about 2,000 over the next couple of weeks, calories that is. But that's me really done now. But yeah, like, subscribe, comment, catch you on the next one.